what's up? You already know what today is. Me and Evan are back with another video for Wheelie Wednesday. Today we are getting into a little bit more technical trick called the coaster wheelie. We'll get into exactly what it is in a minute. But first guys, hit the like button. We're trying to get a thousand likes on every video. We're also going to throw me and Evan's Instagrams up here in the corner. Make sure you go and follow us, like some of our posts. Evan's got some cool stuff on his Instagram. And as usual guys, make sure to subscribe. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the coaster wheelie and we're gonna make it as straightforward and basic as possible for you guys wanting to learn. And here we go, let's do it. All right guys, so let's really quick explain what's going on in the coaster wheelie. All it is is once again, we're rolling about five miles an hour on the Grom. We're gonna clutch in, give it gas, clutch out, and now we are in our normal wheelie. You can see Evan dropped back and it went quiet. He was literally doing a wheelie with his clutch pulled in. So that's where you get the name. He is literally just coasting on one wheel and using his brake to keep him balanced. No gas input at all. So all the other videos you guys have seen with us saying throttle control, brake control, Throttle control is taken out of this one. It is all clutch pulled in. All it is is using momentum to bring you forward and the brake to hold you there and keep you rolling with your clutch pulled in. It's definitely a weird thing to learn at first, but once you get them down, there are some cool tricks to do in coasters. And guys, as usual, if you have not watched the first videos or any of the other previous wheelie videos me and Evan have made, make sure to, at very minimum, go back to episode one and learn all the fundamentals and get down a solid sit-down wheelie or a staggered wheelie of some sort before you move on to coasters. It's a little bit more technical, a little more advanced. So click the iCard up top, go check out that video, and then come on back over here. So something that's kind of cool with coasters is you can add a little flare to it once you get it down. You're obviously doing a wheelie and then once you pull the clutch in and you're just coasting like this, you can kind of rev it up while you're coasting. That's what's cool, you have the clutch pulled in so you can just gas it like crazy. It doesn't sound that cool on a Grom, but when people do this on sport bikes, it's kind of a cool thing. You're like, what the heck, they're in a mid wheelie while they're redlining. Sounds stupid, but it's just a cool flare to throw on it. So let's get into it really quick, the technical side of it. First thing we're gonna be looking at with Evan is the clutch. Um, he's gonna again roll about five miles an hour, clutch in, gas, clutch out, he's now in a wheelie. What he's going to do now is pick up speed. Not, it's not necessarily chasing it, but he's picking up good amount of speed. And then you can see he's gonna pull the clutch in when he feels he's going fast enough and let the bike literally drop back. So again, guys, you're kind of used to balance point if you know how to at least sit down wheelie. You can see Evan was picking up speed and then he pulls the clutch in and lets the bike literally start falling backwards. That's what's gonna keep you in a coaster. But a very important part of this is don't let it go too far. You have to catch yourself with the brake. So you're gonna pull the clutch in and feel your bike drop back past balance point a lot of times. As Evan did right there, you can see it drop past balance point. He has the clutch pulled in right now. So he's just coasting. So what you're gonna do is literally that, guys. You're gonna pick up speed, pick up speed, and then as you're ready and you feel like you're going fast enough, you're going to pull the clutch in and let the bike drop back right there. You can see Evan nailed it right there. And that's what's gonna keep you there. You're gonna see as you're learning that if you hit the brake too hard once you pull the clutch in, your bike is gonna come down right away because you have no throttle keeping you up. It's all momentum. So you have to be gentle on the brake at first, but obviously, you don't wanna let yourself loop. So just mess around with it. You can see right there, Evan gave it way too much brake with the clutch pulled in. He'll do it again here. That's what's gonna happen. You pull the clutch in and hit the brake, it's coming back down. So you have to be gentle on the brake. It's just practice, guys. Patience, as Evan always says. Just go out and practice it, and that's all it's really gonna take. So again, guys, he's picking up the speed till he's comfortable. As you can see, he's gonna let the bike come back a little and pull his clutch in. He's coasting completely right now, no throttle input. So the only other thing to kind of show you guys really is the foot brake, which you at this point should know how to use if you're doing a coaster. So we'll just look at this really quick, give you a rough idea what's going on. You already saw the clutch, what Evan's doing. You gotta kind of throw the bike past balance point and pull your clutch in. And once you're there, you're gonna catch it with your brake. You can see Evan's catching it with his foot brake to keep it from going too far. That's really it guys, coasters, I wanna say they're basic, they're just very technical. You have to be gentle with your foot brake, you have to time it perfectly when to pull the clutch in, and you have to hold it right at the right spot. But all with practice, all with time, and of course patience, it's gonna to come together and make sense for you, and you'll be able to coast as far as you want. That's a solid coaster right there. And guys, a trick that kind of comes along with coasters, once you have coasters down, you can also start allowing yourself to drop farther back in your coaster and actually scrape your bar. 
You technically want to have a 12 bar for this trick. Uh, I've scraped my FZ07 stock on the taillight and people scrape stock bikes. It's just kind of dumb to rip your taillight apart. So if you have a 12 bar in the back of your bike like I do on my Grom or like Evan does on his, you can go ahead and move on to this coaster variation if you like, which is literally this guys. Everything me and Evan just explained, except as you're falling back, you're going to pull your clutch in and allow yourself to go even farther until your bar touches the ground just like that. Sounds basic, it is pretty basic, but at first it's pretty scary. It's a scrape, you're 12 o'clock straight up. Again, if you have a 12 bar, super cool trick. A lot of people think it looks cool, it can surprise a lot of people. But just make sure to get your coasters down first. Once they're down, move on to the scrape and you'll be able to do both of them without any problems. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. Coasters are pretty basic, but they are a very technical trick. But with some patience and practice, you guys will get them down. Just try to follow our pointers and steps as best as you can. If we helped you guys out at all, leave a comment, let us know. As usual, like, subscribe, and we will see you guys next Wednesday with another wheelie tutorial video. See you guys next time. Woo!